What's good, YouTube? Before we continue, I have to let you know that this video has been sponsored by CompTIA. Check this out. I'm working hard to achieve the CompTIA Linux Plus certification. And you can be a part of that journey. If you subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell and hit me with a like, then check the description below. There's a link to the CompTIA Convo Slack channel, Linux Huddle. Join me there where I daily discuss my CompTIA Linux Plus certification journey. And then as well on my YouTube channel, I'll be doing a weekly review recap where you can follow me and I'll share everything that I'm going through on my journey. And then on every Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'll be going through the certification tools that I'm using and then just talking about my journey and answer any questions that you may have. Giveaway time. Who wants to win their very own license to Cert Master Practice for Linux Plus? All you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section of this video letting me know what you are most excited about when it comes to Linux and what tools you have used to study for your certs. And use the hashtag CompTIA Linux Plus. A random winner will be chosen and announced at Sunday's live stream. See you then. Why should you learn Linux? In my career, I made it pretty far by just knowing Windows. But times are changing. I'm sure you heard the term DevOps. I'm sure you heard the terms IoT. And I'm sure you heard the term the cloud. All three of those, Linux is heavily involved. The Internet of Things, Linux is heavily involved. Web servers, Linux is heavily involved. Databases, Linux is heavily involved. Even on NXOS, which is Nexus OS, Linux is even there. You name it, Linux is showing up, and it ain't going nowhere. Now, I mentioned in my career how I made it pretty far by just knowing Windows. And to me, I've always been fearful of Linux. It's been like this dark room you walk in. Wait a minute pitch black room that you walk in and you know there's a light switch but every time you walk in that room you trip over something make a fool out of yourself so you go running out back the windows where it's safe and you can just drag drop click boom and go right where you want to go but that's no more because even windows is going command line based so things are changing learning linux will do nothing but Improve your resume, which will get you that bag. And I'm being honest. This is, I'm in the field. Those of you that follow me know, I only talk about things that I experience. I don't talk about certifications I don't have. I don't talk about things I don't know. I'm telling you firsthand from my experience, learning Linux is going to impact you in the field today, right now, immediately. And I say that. As a network engineer that supports system engineers, that supports developers, that supports the organization, when you think of, the, like I said, web servers, Linux, backend, databases, Linux, you name it, Linux is involved. I'll give you an example. Let's say a system engineer calls you and says, hey, our, our backend device isn't talking to our front end device. The pings aren't going through it. I can't even talk to my default gateway. Now, you can ping the default gateway. You hop on the default gateway. Everything's good. Other devices on that network are communicating. Now, what do you do? Is you check the firewall, nothing's blocking. Now, what do you do? I ask the system engineer to send you some trace routes. He sends you trace routes. Just all bangs. Nothing comes back. So you're like, hmm, what do you do? Well, the cool thing about Linux, you can actually tell if a port is open on that Linux node. So you do something like what? NC-ZV IP address and then the port number, and you can tell if it's listening. Like a, a simple one-line command to, from a Linux device to a Linux node will tell you if a device is listening. You, as a network engineer, have that skill set. A TCP dump 
on a device that will improve your skill set. Being able to tell the interface configurations on the Lady Snow, that will improve your resume. Being able to tell the routing on a, on a Linux node, that will improve your resume. What if you need to grep syslogs? Not sure if you know or not, but a lot of times your devices in your network are sent to a syslog server that's probably Linux. And you're going to search those logs. There's no GUI interface to search those logs. You're going to go straight command line and grep those logs and I'm telling you this because my skills aren't the best in this so it's like I need to improve my skills and I want to make sure that I provide you the roadmap to help you get to where you want to be whether it's where I am or beyond that if I can give you the information that's my goal in the description of this video all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section of this video letting me know what you are most excited about when it comes to Linux and what tools you have used to study for your search. And use the hashtag CompTIA Linux Plus. A random winner will be chosen and announced at Sunday's live stream. See you then. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one. And good luck in the giveaway. Peace.